Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Dimitri. Today we're going to print values uh, from 0 to 5 and we're going to be using the while loop and we're going to be using an array. So let's start by creating the array. So I'm going to create an integer array, of course, because uh, we're going to print numbers, right? Let's just give it an, a name. So we're just going to call it numbers and I'm going to say new integer and here's the tricky part so here I'm going to mention what's the length of my array so I'm going to say 6 because I want these elements from 0 to 5 which is actually 6 elements and because in C sharp you start the index from 0 you're gonna have these 5 uh, uh, 6 elements all right, so that's going to be the first step. The other step is uh, we're going to define a starting point. So let's just call this integer i. And let's start from 0. That's going to be the step 2. And the step 3 is uh, we're actually going to start the while loop. So I'm going to say while a condition happens, I want to do something. That's basically the way I read it. So the condition here is going to be while my i is less than my number's length. This is going to be my array, and this is the method that I'm applying to that. I want to actually print something. So I want to print my numbers. I want to print the index. All right, so in this case, because I'm not using for each loops, so I have to mention that these numbers is actually equal to my i. So the program knows that it's going to start from zero in this case. All right, so that's this is the like the tricky part, and there's another tricky part. But let's start running this and let's see what happens. So if I execute the program, I'm going to have an infinite loop. It's going to show me a bunch of zeros, and it's still running. So let's just stop this, and let's uh, kind of recap and let's see what's going on. So. I define this to start from zero and it's going to go all the way to the length of my array. So that's so far so good. I'm going to mention that this is going to start from zero. That's good. So the last tricky part in this sort of um, loops is that you have to actually mention that this is going to increase okay so I want this to increase because I want values from 0 to 5 so if I run this let's just execute the program and we'll see that we actually have the values from 0 to 5 so that's perfect that's actually working and we could say uh, that I want the numbers from uh, 0 to 10. So I'm going to have actually these uh, 11 elements from 0 to 11. And here is going to, nothing's going to change here. So let's just run this. And I'm going to have numbers from 0 to 10. OK, that's perfect. Okay, in this case, we could add a message here. For example, uh, let's say, let's just add a couple of lines, for example. And then uh, we gotta close, uh, we gotta say, uh, we gotta mention this and a comma. And if we run this again, I'm going to have a couple of lines in every single element. Okay, perfect. 
so what else I can do here so if I want to actually decrease values let's just try to change this let's just copy and paste it right here right below and I'm going to say while my j I'm going to create another variable let's just call it j and it's going to be 10 okay so now I'm going to start from 10 and I'm going to decrease these values to 0 so let's just say 10 to 0 I'm going to do something similar so while in this case I'm talking about j but I'm talking about the same array okay and in this case I'm going to mention that okay I have 11 uh, elements here right this is going to be a little bit different so if my j is less than the length of the array instead of adding this I want to decrease this so if I decrease these values and I pretty much uh, change the message here and if I run this again let's see what's going on so there's a there's an exception it says out of range exception so there's an pretty much an error with the length of the array so let's just analyze this real quick so I want this uh, J 10 so while j is actually higher than zero that would be an option so this is going to change because i'm working from from zero to ten instead of ten to zero so i have to actually say that i have to change this condition so uh, let's see what else I can change uh, numbers so numbers I I gotta change this right it's just kind of confusing because we're using a uh, different letter it would have been easier to actually <laughs> type that again but I copy and pasted so that was my mistake and then I want to decrease my J so we're actually talking about a different variable that was the whole error and I want this to be my J as well all right so let's see what's going on let's just execute the program and let's see if the new uh, loop is working so it looks like it's working so it's coming from 10 to 1 and Let's just try to print a message here. So we actually separate this. So this is going to be my two loops. So my first loop is going to be uh, numbers from 0 to 10, and the other one is going to be 10 to 1. Let's try to. Uh, okay, now that's pretty much fine. So I changed the symbols and the order so that's pretty much the whole trick so you guys could be doing the same if you guys want to create another variable let's see uh, integer z is equal to I don't know 50 and you guys can create your own and try to do this one from 50 to 0 and another one from 0 to 50 uh, that's going to be your uh, assignment pretty much and I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video